Okay, so this is um, the city of Youngstown. If you were, um, you know, kind of investing in this area, kind of where would you where would you invest in? You know, rental properties, flips, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you personally. I have a, I have a couple thoughts. I just wanted wanted to see what uh, what yours were. You know, as you know, most in our area, everybody's thinking that the west side is the strongest area to invest. Um, I personally, I have investments all over uh, South Side. Uh, Mill Creek Park is, you know, uh, YNDC has been picking and picking up a lot around that Mill Creek Park, and for good reason. You know, uh, it's one of our treasures, literally, uh, Mill Creek. Right. Um, man, you know what? It's it's a good question. I'll be honest. It they one street literally can be different than the next. Like. Um, we could be buying on, oh, for instance, let's see, where are we at here, Joel? Yeah, right. downtown's right there. Yeah. Definitely good area, old furnace. This is very sought after. Get a lot of people who are looking down around this Mill Creek Park area. Um, anywhere nearby this park's normally pretty solid. Um, south side, in general, Let's go. Um, just how like one street, Ravenwood, how that kind of sticks sticks out in people's. Uh, but East Boston, a few streets over, not too shabby. Um, this, this is why it's it's very important though to have a. A local professional who knows each area because in our area it, it, it's not each block it's each street it can be that fast of a difference um, returns can be very good but just the same it's hard for certain streets um, tenants know they're like it's hard to get good tenants in certain locations um, right so like this west side um, yep is definitely definitely good above uh, yeah. There. yeah, the west side's always been a strong um, place to, for good investments. Um, the Wycliffe Circle area yep. has always been good too. Um, then I got uh, Brownlee Woods down yeah, here. Yeah, Brownlee Woods is another. And Struthers. Yeah. And a strong the, location. What would you call this section right here? Is it a neighborhood or just a strip by the southern? Um, we're at Howard, Atlanta, Pinehurst, Willow, Homestead. Gertrude, um, Marathana, right around Beagley, between Southern Boulevard and Market Street. It's actually not a that's that's not a bad strip. You know another. Where's South Avenue? Here we go. I've noticed some investors. So from here, from South Avenue over through the interstate like this little section here has been pretty pretty solid too um, more of this little area here Pemberton Park right around okay. here it's not a bad spot to be looking between Shirley South Avenue not bad um, good single-family yep rentals there Yep, they're normally, um, they're smaller homes, which in my opinion are the ones to go after. The two to three bed ranches, 1,200 square feet or smaller. Um, low maintenance, doesn't cost much to fix. Um, and it's, it's just a well-kept area there. So yeah, I would, I would highlight that in. Let's stick with your other areas, they're very good too. Um, yeah, so like but the they're sporadic. If you get somebody who knows our area, yeah, like I got that Avondale house. Yeah, there's um, still down there on the south side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like the areas I highlight are like where some of the um, investors I know, um, you know, will, will buy as well. Yep. Or you know, wholesale to someone out of out of state. Yep. Um, down around Newport, you can get some of the big big homes up in this area. Um, not normally good for investors and uh, more for owner occupants it's because they're mm. colossal in size um, high upkeep maintenance um, 
most important thing, again, I keep stating it, get a good professional and a uh, property manager, somebody who can manage these properties and you'll do well. Where do you, um, where are like the multifamily, like apartments and stuff? You have to start going into Boardman? To start Austin Town to start getting yeah. things like that? Yeah, you know what, the north side has the majority of the multiplex buildings. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you kind of keep your focus on the north side, there are some over on the south side. Um, but obviously Boardman has a lot more just because there's not as much land to demand. Where have you kind of like, you know, being a realtor in the area for a while, like um, seen the shift of, uh, of rental properties besides these areas kind of, do you see it kind of moving towards Austin Town? Uh, personally, I would say it's still, Youngstown's gotten even stronger for rentals. Everybody and their mother's buying these homes now for investments. Um, the rental market's gotten so strong. Mm -hmm. <coughs> values, <coughs> um, the values of homes have gone up significantly. Investors um, are picking these up because they can get great, great returns, 10% plus um, in the Youngstown, uh, if you have the right property management on board. Yeah, you, you really can't get that in other markets. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, or the stock market, right? <laughs> absolutely, not that you can control. And that's, that's the one good thing. You always still have something of value here. And the value's grown up, so it's still a good area to buy, to make our investment, uh, would be in our real estate market. Um, and if you got a, the right people kind of picking these things, yeah, you can build an empire, truly. Awesome. Um, I guess one last note, like what do you see with um, kind of Columbiana like shifting over the years? It's yeah, really you know, uh, really grown up, right? It absolutely has. Uh, everybody has been kind of pushing down south um, with the new plaza being built down there. Half a billion dollars is a huge um, implementation of money into that little area. It's been a little farm town that has been out of most people's radars, but now it's, it's definitely around every corner you hear people talk about Columbiana. Um, right. Definitely would focus around Columbiana. It seems like the value is really going Grab up. Grab it now because it's it's, it's getting <laughs> pushed up and it's more for um, luxury. It's more for um, business people, um, good social class kind of being formed down there. Um, the movers and shakers seem to be grabbing all those areas. Um, rental market, the values are even kind of going up now so it's kind of hard for a renter you know to be buying for a rental market if you get a good price grab it um, but most of those for owner occupants people they're, they're paying a premium for that land but it's only gonna it just started um, it's, it's only gonna improve yeah very much so it seems like it's just on its first phase right now um, the next decade I don't think Columbia is gonna be recognizable in my opinion really yeah for the better <laughs> Uh, wow. There's a cracker plant being built, I want to say in shipping port. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's over 6,000 jobs that are going to be produced from that cracker plant alone. And when I pulled statistics, our drive from the Columbiana market um, will be less than if they lived in Wexford because of the track account. And if you notice that, that wow. Pittsburgh and that market up there, they're out of land. There ain't no more building. So if they come come in the <coughs> they're moving Columbiana. west. They're moving west. Yeah, absolutely. And if they come into Columbiana, they're, just there, they're saving there. taxes, uh, drive time. They can their million dollar home. They can buy you know in our location for four hundred thousand. Right. So the it's margins a no are, are pretty oh, it's no incredible. Columbiana is gonna it's it'll be busting out. It seems here shortly too. Gotcha. You own a few buildings yourself. I I want to get on I the saw it come. I want to get on the gravy train I saw too, man. <laughs> The, uh, that's where it is. Build new construction. Um, great place to look. Um, schools, first class. They're putting in a new water plant to be able to sustain. Even the city sees it coming. You know, they uh, they just finally put in all the groundwork because uh, ultimately it always starts with the foundation and the um, the water plant. And people mm -hmm. don't realize Columbana couldn't have. It, it wouldn't be going where it's going if it wasn't for the city putting in all the right little, you know, uh, chips where they chalet. Um, 
but it's good. Keep an eye on Columbia for sure. Seems like a lot of things uh, fell, in, fell into place like dominoes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, strategically. Awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. King of Columbia right here.